Hello, my name is Robert O'Mealy. I'm a member of the board of the Louis Armstrong Educational Foundation here in New York, and I'm very joyous to be here as a celebrant of Jazz Appreciation Month. We celebrate jazz all year here, and I know that it's a month from which to spring forward and appreciate jazz all year everywhere. But this month in particular, we're so happy about the rejuvenation of the Sachmo Center there in Ethiopia. The idea that there's a place which radiates Lewis's message makes us at the foundation and all Louis lovers around the world uh, so, so very happy. The foundation that Armstrong set up here in New York was designed to promote jazz education everywhere. Many people know that Armstrong was in the poorest of the poor neighborhoods of New Orleans growing up. Anybody charting the likelihood of a genius being somewhere wouldn't pick Armstrong. And becoming somebody who got along with everybody and who was appreciative of his role in the world as an artist no matter what his economic status was. And so when he set up a foundation, it was with those poorest children in mind to make sure that they had the instruments and the training and the inspiration to become musicians, especially jazz musicians. But of course, musicians don't care about those kinds of categories. He wanted them to be able to, to play their horns and to to feel free doing it. But the other thing about Armstrong that we celebrate at the foundation and everywhere and that makes us so happy about the center there is that he stood for human values at their most profound. He really was a great man. He was a great trumpet player and a great singer. But within the process of making his art, he celebrated values that are transcendent. He celebrated the values that said, let us all play together as people, regardless of color, regardless of background, regardless of gender, regardless of religion, let's set all those differences aside and see if we can't swing this music together. He also always had two qualities that mean so much to any artist who's serious. One of them was a deep spiritual sense so often people who saw him play said, oh my goodness, this man is playing directly for God himself. And Armstrong said, oh yes, I'm always talking with the man upstairs. That's what it's all about. But with that too, he was a player who insisted that art at its best has a joyous, good time party folded in as well. So with that sacred profundity, he said, let's rock and roll and have a good time while we're here on this earth. So those, when we say we celebrate Armstrong, we're, we're celebrating the hospitality in the music, the generosity in the music, and the hope that as Ethiopians and people of the United States work on our longstanding friendship, there'll be people all over that region and all over this region and all over the world who do what Armstrong would say. Let's all remember the seriousness of things. Let's all remember the fun of things. Let's swing the music together. So here in the United States, we say salute to the Satchmo Center. Thank goodness for you. We're delighted to share in your joy.